Hey guys, welcome to today's deep dive on Chris Emery, who quite possibly might be the thirstiest man on TikTok. So, I'm just sat here in the bath on the dating sites, which are absolutely infuriating. Because they may as well be called find the pen pal that call it UK. Because people just want to talk for weeks and not actually meet. So, there's any girls out there that actually fancy meeting a guy for a drink? A chat and a laugh, then uh, hit me up. Where's all the North East single ladies? TikTok is not a dating site. <laughs> what did you say? So some of you might know that uh, recently I've not been so well. So I haven't been sleeping. Great. And the other night I came across Chris. I never ever heard of this man before. Or at least I didn't think I had. And... I came across this video and I just had to take Feisty's advice and check him out. Hey ladies, um, I do him. His name's on his account and he's from Washington and he keeps blocking and unblocking me main. So here I am on a backlog. Now, of course, what Feisty's referring to here is the fact that Chris would block her and unblock her accounts over and over again. As somebody who does exposure videos and deep dives, I've came across this myself, and it is a major red flag. Anyway, I reached out to Feisty to see what Feisty could tell me about Chris Emery. Take it away, Feisty. Thanks, Fax, for jumping on board and out in this completely not a wrong in, Chris Emery. Um, so I came across him on TikTok. There was like a post, like a TikTok Tinder post that he did that blew up and went a bit viral. Basically, he was asking all the single ladies to put their names down. And I was single. It was during lockdown, I think. Um, I was single, put my name down, and it was for people that liked the comments if they liked them. Um, and do you know what? I didn't know much about him. His banter was funny and like, not my type though. But like, uh, he got into a relationship with someone. Um through tiktok he met her she's called Kirsty. i've sent you her details what a lovely lovely lady she is right first of all i'm going to say that um so he got into this relationship with Kirsty, and i i'd like i'd i'd watch the lives and stuff and i'd watch the videos and stuff but like i didn't really know what was going on and um, but when that relationship ended he literally he was like a bunny boy let towards Kirsty, honest facts. It was it was horrible. The way that he went on and the way that he treated her, he turned up at a house, he was sat outside of a house, and there was this one night she was on live and she was in bits, like really upset, mentally done. Um and he was making different accounts to come into her live after she blocked him and saying really personal stuff about her, like being awful, awful about her. Um <clears throat> And I was like, wow, what is this bloke all about? Um, and he just, he carried on like that for ages and ages and ages. And I've seen him repeat that cycle over and over again on the app. He goes TikTok dating, gets in a relationship, and then he's awful. Um, he does cocaine on live. He's on, in the bath on live. I mean, I know you're partial to a bath, but you know... He's in the bath for hours on live. He's been through so many different jobs. Like, there was this one night where he was with this um, teaching assistant. She was really drunk in his live. He just rocked up at a house they'd never met before, started drinking, and they were blatantly doing cocaine on live. Um, you could hear them, and it was just... It was wrong, like you were saying to this woman, go on, get your boobs out, I dare you, I dare you. And when she was like, no, 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 he was like, you're boring, you're boring. But the thing is, the women around him support him so much because he's head fucked them. Um, I don't know if he can use that word on YouTube, I'm sorry. But he has, he's blatantly manipulated them and he comes across as a victim. It's strange there that Feisty would bring out the fact that Chris Emery here likes to make himself out as a victim when I've stumbled across this post looking into him. (laughs) 
So yeah, as I said, if you look at this post alongside me, it says, after supporting a partner through life, stopping work to attend uni, become a teacher and gain a career. Now, this is a post where Chris wants you to feel sorry for him. His partner that he's been with for a long time and made these sacrifices for. Uh, are these sacrifices or is this just what you do in a relationship? Anyway, moving on. He wants you to feel sorry for him. He's done all of this for this woman and she's removed her daughter, his and her daughter, from his life. Um, and he honestly wants so much attention for this and you know to be told that it's wrong however i'm going to tell you right now why that lady is a hundred percent right to do just that so as you see pictured alongside here there is chris emery and the title reads teacher humiliated by x posting revenge porn swingers club footage on her school's Facebook. Now remember in the post that he wanted you to feel sorry for him in, talking about that partner that he had, that he supported while they learned to become a teacher. Yeah, I wonder why she doesn't want him to see her child. So a court heard that the woman was left shocked and distressed when her school asked her to get in touch urgently and told her what Emery had done. Despite having participated in the swinging activity himself, he also posted a self-righteous message encouraging parents to complain to the school. Emery, 29 at the time, from Washington in the UK, pleaded guilty to disclosing private sexual pictures and a film with intent to cause distress which a judge said is often referred to as revenge porn, as well as sending offensive messages and criminal damage. He also tried to log into her social media accounts and between December and January, he sent her 550 emails, although the majority were not threatening. Last November, he attended outside a place where their daughter had been at a class and threatened to say horrible and unpleasant things about the woman. While parked up in the car, she was on the phone to her father who tried to speak to Emery to get him to calm down while the child was crying, screaming hysterically. Very strange how her, his daughter might not want to have anything to do with him and that his ex-partner would keep her from him, isn't it? When given the woman's phone to speak to her dad, he smashed it into the gravel, breaking the screen and breaking it beyond use. Mr Collins said that he then tried to pull the victim from the car as she drove off. Remember, the kid is there during this exchange. I'm so glad that she keeps your daughter away from you, Chris. The judge said as well as posting the material on Facebook, Emery had also sent some semi-naked pictures to school by email. He told Emery it's quite obvious it caused her great distress and humiliation. You don't seem to quite understand the seriousness of what you did. Which I think is interesting because this was obviously a while ago, as Chris states, but he still doesn't seem to understand the seriousness of what he does. Or what he did instead Chris says I've been honest about it no you haven't you weren't honest in that video where you said somebody was stopping you from seeing your daughter you did not tell everybody why back to what the judge said you sent sexual material to her employer in an attempt at revenge you tried to self-righteously dress it up as a complaint there is a degree of hypocrisy bearing in mind you are involved in the same activity. Because of course Chris Emery engaged in swinging kink with his partner, this partner. And Chris Emery tried to complain about that in these emails as though he had the higher ground. 
After admitting to his guilt in court, Emery was sentenced to nine months suspended for two years, with 150 hours of unpaid work and imposed an eight-year restraining order. Do you guys think that's enough? Tell me in the comments. We now catch up to Chris in 2022 and he seems to conduct himself in the same worrying way. Now I did a live promoting this deep dive as I've done many times before with others saying that people can get in touch with me if they have any other information. Chris Emery made this post. Let's talk about it. So where do we begin with this one? So Chris Emery came into my live stream. He uh, offered to go live with me. I have no intention to go live with somebody like yourself, Chris. Um, he then made several accounts to come back into my live. And he even had the cheek to ask me if I had permission to use his image after the crimes that he's been convicted of. Um, couldn't believe that. Anyway, let's have a look at this. Another div talking about my court case from two years ago. Two years ago. Remember the sentence, guys. Many have tried and my honesty regarding has prevailed. Tried what, Chris? Tried what? I'm really confused. Any women I meet have always known about this. And once again, I've already shown your misleading videos and how you play on things and twist things to get the attention that you want, Chris. He's going live at eight o'clock. Yes, there we go. We're already here. Uh, let's all have a laugh at this Muppet. Don't put yourself down, Chris. He chat shit that got proven false. You convicted, Chris. You admitted. You pleaded guilty. What is false about what I've said? I don't like. And then, of course, he stoops to the level of saying, P.S. This man needs a wash. Amazing. Now, I'm not going to stoop to that level and body shame you, Chris, or make comments about you because I'm an adult. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry that the facts around you, your court case and what you've done upset you and worry you to the point of where you've made multiple blank accounts, commented multiple things on my video, even ac accusing me of some horrible things with zero evidence. Uh, it strikes desperation. It strikes that you are worried. And this post, because what he said in the post uh, which you can't see here um, because I mentioned that if people who had been ex-partners of Chris or had Chris slide in their DMs like so many have said and they wanted to talk to me about it that they could come forward after this video and I encourage you guys to do so um, he made the, the caption of this video uh, basically saying about those exes and I wonder if those exes will show their face or do they um, it strikes of intimidating women. That's what it strikes of. Um, <laughs> it, it just, it's a pattern of behaviour. It's a pattern of behaviour. I'd be very concerned about Chris Emery. Um, as usual, I've said nothing that isn't factual. That's why my name is the Fact Freak. Um, there's literally nothing. Nothing is being proved false, Chris. Only thing that's being proved false is the way you twist and manipulate your audience. Anyway, guys, I've been the Fact Freak. This has been a part one in a deep dive into Chris Emery. If you guys have any information you want to share with me, my Instagram is the Fact Freak. Uh, have a great day, guys, and peace.